If you're growing your hair out right now and you're really, really sick and tired of it looking so utterly crap and you're looking for a solution to make it look at least halfway decent, then this video is definitely your ticket, okay? So make sure you keep watching. Okay, so where was I? Yeah, so my name's Thomas and I make style and hair related videos every single week here on this channel and welcome! So today I'm going to be showing you my halfway man bun. The halfway man bun is a hairstyle I made up the other week because I was doing a video about all the things that I'm doing to avoid the awkward stage and I finally now got a decent enough length that I can not, I can't fully tuck it up yet into my full man bun which is what I'm going for but I can actually disguise these side bits so they all blend and it looks a lot better better than, you know, this classic old look of Krusty the Clown, I like to call it, like with these big buffy sides. I finally found a way that I can incorporate them into a bun without needing to have them all the way tied in. It's just going to be really great for this whole growing out process from here on in, I think. So if you've got uh, four inches or more hanging off your head, this is going to work for you. And I can't wait to show you it. I did also just want to say quickly, uh, any Gold Coast guys that are out there watching my videos, if you're here on the Gold Coast right now for the month of September, I've got a really cool gig going on at the moment with Brandon from Zone, and I've left a special link in the description box below for you to watch a video uh, explaining about something that I'm doing this month. So if you're here on the coast, I'd really, really love your support on that. And if anybody out there has wondered how I keep my teeth so beautiful and white, um, I'm going to leave a card up in the, the card section for you to the Smile Brilliance Teeth Whitening Kit. I did a brand deal with them a while ago and I just wanted to plug that today because it's a really, really awesome product and I did a great review on it. So yeah, make sure you check it out after you uh, enjoy this man bun tutorial. Okie dokie, so halfway man bun 101, let's get into it. All you're going to need for this tutorial is a hair tie of some kind. I've got a red one today. Woo! And also you're going to need a shitload of bobby pins. The amount of bobby pins is uh, indefinite. It all depends how much you're comfortable with and until you get the look right because with this hairstyle there is a lot of playing around. You kind of have to maneuver it, check it out front, side, back and just wait until you feel like you're okay with it and then it's good to go. It does take playing. So I might get it on the third go today. I have no idea, but we're about to find out. So I'll show you how I do it though. So the first thing I would do would be get my hair tie. And what I want to do is I want to pull all of my hair. I make sure I grab all of the hair that can actually get into a bun and I'll pull it to the back of my head to about there, I reckon. Whoop. And I will just tie it up as, an, as if it were a normal bun, right? Might pull it, make it look a little bit wispy. Oh no, I don't like that. See, I've already f***ed it up. <laughs> there we go. That's something cool. Then I'll just check. <gasps> I just hit the fan. Whoops. Shit hit the fan. Okay, so I'll get my hair in a bun like this. And then what I'll do is I'll get a bobby pin. And I'll just grab a little wispy piece out of there. Like this. And I'll put it on my scalp. Or on my head. And I'll just pin it in. Because I have a real problem with, see how like the bun's here, then you've got the hair tie, and then you've got your head, and it kind of looks like this shape. I don't really like that, so what I do is I just grab little wispy pieces from the bun, and I pin it to my head so that it's not as like, shit looking. Now, after I've gotten the actual bun in place, it's time to start pinning these guys up. I might zoom in a little bit for this one. So the idea is to pin all of this back, and have it look like it's blending into the bun because essentially when I get a full man bun, it is gonna blend, well it's pretty much all just gonna tie up into the one bun, but for now we've kinda gotta maneuver it and make an illusion that it's doing that. And the way I do that is just with bobby pins. So see these parts that stick out here? These are the worst. So I kind of like wedge them back here and I'll get a bobby pin and wedge it underneath this top hair. So it kind of disguises that one completely and you just kind of pin them in the back as well. I'm gonna grab these pieces first because these are the most annoying. I'm gonna hold it there, get my bobby, slide him on, on the hair that I'm holding, and then it just dips underneath my longer hair. Ta-da, just like that, right? And then I'm gonna grab this hair, go down a section. I'm gonna do the same thing. But when we go back here, like, it's pretty inevitable. You're gonna see the bobby pins anyway. And I just kind of slide that one in right there. Boom, boom. And see how it makes a nice flat thing here? And you'll see this bit here. These bits here can actually tuck behind my ears now, which I kind of like that look. It kind of gives it more of a flowy look. And then you'll notice I've also got this big hanging piece out the back there. So what I'll do, again, I'll just swoop that around the back like that. Might take a couple of strands from there. 
Well, leave them. And just pin it in the back. Ta-da! See, look at this side, and then look at this side. And then what I'll do is, just to make sure I'm happy with this side, I'll check it in the mirror again. It all looks fine. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And I really love, I really love these bits that hang down the side. I think they look really cool on my neck. And then once I've done it to one side, then I'll literally just do it to the other and I'll just suss it out at the end. And if I'm happy with it, that's what we do. And then if I'm not happy with it, then we just take it out and redo it. That's as easy as it is. Ta-da! Alrighty guys, so I actually got it on the first go, uh, I think. So now I've pinned everything in place. I've done this side and I've done that side. And what I'll do is I'll just do one last check in the mirror to make sure I'm happy with the shape of my head and how it all looks. See, I just, I love this back part. It just looks so wispy and so like blended. And for some reason I just don't, I, don't, I just don't give a fuck about the pins. They make the hairstyle what it is. It's quite cool. The bun's done perfectly. And that's seriously it. That's how easy my hair needs to be now. I have also tried this hairstyle while my hair is all frizzy and crazy. If you've seen any video with my hair frizzy and crazy, it is freaking crazy. And this still works. It doesn't look as like slick and nice, but I still really, really enjoy it. So that's my little trick, the halfway man bun. I think I used about 12 bobby pins in total. Like I put four in the top here to like nail it to my head. And then I've used like four in the side, four in the side. And yeah, looks cool. <laughs> bobby pins are not very expensive. You can get them like a whole pack of them for like $3.50 and hair ties. Actually, hair ties are expensive. I paid like five bucks for the whole box that I have. So yeah, anyway, it's uh, an inexpensive way to make yourself look good through your growing out process. And I really hope some of you guys can benefit from this because seriously, since I started doing it, I feel so much better. It gives me so much more variety on top of hats, bandanas, and all the other things that I've been using to, yeah, kind of keep my hair looking good. So I'm feeling good about it. Make sure you stay tuned for next week's video because next week I'm going to be covering heat protectors and what I use in, well I've already covered a lot of what I use in my hair when I straighten it, but I'm going to do a segment on heat protectors and why they're actually so important because um, I did a bit of research and it's actually really, really cool with the science behind it. So I'm going to teach you guys a little bit about that and why it's so important and what are good ones to use. And if you're interested, make sure you hit the subscribe button, okay? Because that'll be coming next week. Other than that, please give me a thumbs up if you love this halfway man bun. And if you try it out, please email me, leave me a message on the love wall, do whatever you have to do to get it in front of me because... It's so cool. I feel like it's like my little invention. <laughs> um, and I really want to know what you guys think of it, okay? And if you can make use of it, even better, because that's why I do these things, okay? I'm trying to revolutionize growing hair out. It's my new favorite thing. <laughs> If you guys want exclusive hair and style content, make sure you head to my website and sign up for my uh, Action Post newsletter. I've just got that rolling on my website now. I'm hoping to do it like once a month or something. I'm gonna be uh, documenting everything that I'm doing on the channel in the newsletter, and I'm also gonna be putting some exclusive content that you can only get by being on the mailing list. So if you're interested in that, make sure you go and sign up. And I'll see you next week for another video, okay? <laughs> Love you guys lots, and uh, yeah, let me know how you go. Bye.